What's going on, everybody? We have an amazing, amazing uh, event for you all today on our YouTube Live. I'm really, really excited because this is something that um, I haven't really talked a lot about, okay? I'm not going to lie because it was a, during a very, very hard time in my life. But, you know, I just got off a, um, a uh, newscast, all right? They brought me in as an expert for, for an economy. It's uh, going to be on CBS or one of those ones. I can't remember which one. And we were talking about AI, you know? And one of the things that uh, a lot of people don't realize is that AI, one, was programmed by us. And two, it doesn't feel. It doesn't have a need to thrive. The only thing it does is it serves what we, the creators of it, want. And, but us as humans, we have this need to survive. Mammals, insects, whatever it is, some, any plants, everything on this planet has an evolutionary need to survive. And I think it's one of the things that is so beautiful about us because while we have some dark times, we also have a lot of light times that we strive towards to, to end up getting there. And I'm not going to lie. I'm in one of those light times right now. Last year and the year before that, it was survival mode. It was tough in crypto. But I'm going to talk to you about when it was even tougher for me. When it was even tougher for me. And that's why, you know, today we're going to be talking about uh, building wealth even while you have debt, okay? Because this is a lot of a lot of my students who come to me, okay? They end up telling me, man, Gaven, I am in debt. This is impossible. And I'm here to tell you that it's not. It's not impossible. It's actually very possible. It's very possible. And so hopefully today, not hopefully, I know for a fact somebody of the audience that's sitting in with us right now is going to get some benefit. Somebody is going to go, get, going to get a hair up their ass and go, gosh darn it, if he did it, I can do it. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how I was able to really, really put some things in a place to where I could make more money on my own terms so that I could live my life that I wanted to. Because let me tell you this, let me tell you this, let me get close to the screen. I wasn't fucking waiting until 67 or six, whatever it is. I don't even care what it is because I don't live by those rules. 72 until I was going to retire. I just wasn't. It's not in my DNA and I'm not saying retire, meaning I'm going to sit on some beach or in the jungle and meditate or in a cave, maybe in another lifetime. I love meditating. It makes me feel really good. I substitute it for, you know, alcohol and other uh, substances that might alter your mind. But in this reality. I enjoy my friends. I enjoy playing sports. I enjoy my daily meditation, my morning meditation. I enjoy my family more than anything. And that to me is retirement. I enjoy my job. If you can enjoy what you're doing and not have to worry about money, that to me is the new retirement. That to me is the new retirement. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about that today. All right. So first of all, this is not financial advice. All right. I'm not your financial advisor. What I want to do is empower you to become your own financial advisor. Okay. And this is really, really key because we're in a society and I know it's not my audience. My audience is actually a pretty killer audience. You guys are some kick-ass people. But a lot of people out there, they just want to blame every other person out there. All right. I'm not one of those. Something bad happens to me. 
I pull up my pants, you know, I dust myself off and I don't end up blaming anybody else but myself. Even in the worst of situations, how could I have not been in that situation? Me. All right, me. I'm not going to blame uh, my ex-wife for the divorce. No, I made the decision to be there. All right. But it's what I take from the lesson. So when I say this is not financial advice, I don't take this lightly like every other YouTuber out there does. I'm not a YouTuber, by the way. I'm a professional investor. All right. I'm a professional investor. This is what I do for my job, not talk on YouTube. All right. So I want everybody to take accountability for yourselves. So this is just what me and my students are doing. All right. So let's start off a little bit. I know I started off last week with this, but we're going to get into the newer stuff here, but there's some new people. So I want to make sure that they understand what's going to happen today. So today I'm going to show you the path to more time freedom and financial abundance. These are two things that are super key to me. Okay. And how to create a lifestyle you love with plenty of time for your personal passions. So that could be your sports, your travel, uh, your hobbies, whatever it is that you want to do and how to take charge and live your life by design, not by default, how to jump into things that light you up. And obviously you guys can tell right now I am lit up. I love what I do. I love talking to people like yourselves. Last night I was up till 11 doing research on different investments because I love this. I want you all to be lit up like I'm lit up. And maybe it's not for investments. Maybe it's for something else, but I want to give you the tools, AKA value because money's dead. Fiat is money. I call it crypto is my value. Okay. I want to give you the tools, the value makers so that you can do what you want so that you're not sitting there sweating until you're 72 years old. And if you're 72 years old, so that you're not sitting there sweating until you're 76 years old. All right. Age is just a number and how to change your relationship with money, with value and how to enter into a new financial paradigm that allows you to accelerate your knowledge and your income. Now you're in the right place. If you're excited to make more money, more efficiently, if you're ready for more financial security, like me and my students have, if you want to reduce your risk by spreading across different financial sectors, if you're ready to open yourself up to better investment opportunities and you want to avoid costly investment mistakes. And finally, if you want to become a savvy crypto investor like me and all of my students have become. So a little bit about myself. I actually started by founding one of the largest law firms in cycling in California. It was the largest actually. Arguably it was the largest in the United States, but I didn't have enough data. It was, it was at least number one or two. All right. I prided myself. I was, I was damn near. I called myself a professional cyclist because I literally rode my bike for a living. You guys probably yelled at us on the street. Uh, some of them are just dumb that they don't understand the laws. Uh, I understood them very well, but at the end of the day, we represented injured cyclists and I blew that business up like crazy. I started investing in crypto in mid 2017 and I started teaching crypto in January of 2018. Now here's in 2018, things got really dicey for me because I was diagnosed with stage two B colon cancer. Now, some of you may be like, oh man, that's shitty. Me, I, again, I don't blame, I don't sit there. I don't kick rocks. You know what I did? I said, okay. I'm going to turn this from the worst thing that could possibly happen to somebody and has killed billions probably by now, right? After so many years to the best thing that's ever happened to me, to the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay. And what happened after that was I went down this really enlightening road. I woke up. I was not woke. I was woken up by God, by Chi, by myself, uh, my true self. Okay. And I was able to create a six figure passive income. Now this year, probably going to be a seven figure, hopefully an eight figure. And I'm going to show you how today. 
And I was able to maintain the three freedoms. All right. Financial freedom, time freedom, and location freedom. These are the three freedoms that I hold dearly. Okay. Now, after my cancer crisis, I had to get out of the US. All right. I ended up having a, uh, a, a bit of a eat, pray, love moment. All right. And I ended up traveling to Bali. I went and meditated. I spent six days in silence over there. I ended up going to Russia. I started treating because I didn't do chemotherapy. I did surgery, but I didn't do chemotherapy despite the fact that all the doctors told me I needed to. It's okay. That's what they get paid for. That it's the only tool they know how to use. All right. But I knew that there was different tools from the readings that I had, that I had read from, you know, Luis Hay, Dr. Joe Dispenza, all these things. I knew anything was possible. I knew my body was so intelligent. It could heal itself, but I was a little afraid because I ended up kind of back to where I was, uh, when I had the cancer. There was a lot of the stress that was peaking up the side, besides the fact that I changed my diet, I stopped drinking, I started meditating, I'd really cleared my mind, but I needed to take my, my studies, my enlightening studies to the next level. And so I came back from Russia, I went to Mexico, I went to Costa Rica, and I ended up in Panama where I'm at now, okay? And here's just some of the pictures. I was living in Denver as well during that time as well, but here's just some of the pictures of my life now versus the way my life used to be, which was drunk, fucked up, uh, high, out until all sorts of, you know, times of the night, pushing my body, getting four hours of sleep, you know, working super hard with no, uh, with no purpose. And now I have a beautiful family. I have amazing friends. It's just, I have a friend in town right now. We're recording a mindset, uh, mindset class for our, for our stuff. I've been able to meet up with countless of my students and do some amazing masterminds that don't cost like an arm and a leg <laughs> to do. And this to me became my purpose. Got to go snowboarding. I love snowboarding. I love snowboarding. And this became my purpose, my family, my friends. I don't want to say my job because my job is like the trap, right? It's the, it's the jail, but my passion of what I do the majority of the day, which is teaching crypto, which is teaching mindset on finances. All right. And today we're going to talk more about this. So what does retirement mean for you? For me, okay. Retirement is accomplishing the three freedoms and listen to the way I'm I'm going to put this to location, freedom, one financial freedom, two, and then time three freedom three. And by the way, if you're here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like button because it brings more people. The algorithm will bring more people. All right. So hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, because we're going to keep talking about really, really good stuff. This is going to be a, a five week series that we're talking week one was last week this is uh week two so why time freedom first all right well you need to end up freeing up enough cash flow to invest and create a big enough stack okay to have to to make a difference to become more abundant see a lot of people they get stuck on this cycle think of yourself like a hamster on a wheel and you're just like, oh, you're, but there's like a picture of a Lamborghini and a Louis Vuitton and a Rolex and all these things right in front of your face. And you keep running after it. And each one of those spokes is debt, you know, lust, lust can be for money. Uh, you know, I need to have this. I need keeping up with the Joneses, all these things, all of these things. All right. And so you got to free up. You got to free up yourself. And what last week we discussed this. All right. I gave you guys one option. That's a, a major one that anybody in the world could figure out. I don't care if you're a truck driver or a nurse or you're, you think you're stuck at your job. You, there are jobs that will pay you remotely and probably pay you more than what you're making right now. 
let that sink in. And you get to take advantage of all sorts of tax savings. I think I showed you uh, last week that how you can save. I've personally saved like a hundred and some thousand dollars per year that I'm able to put towards my investments. Okay. Yeah. A hundred thousand dollars per year. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. All right. And I'm not making a million dollars or two, 500,000. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking making, you know, 150 to 200,000. You could put that much away and live a really, really good life. Go into our lives in YouTube. You can see that video there. I also showed you how social security is a Ponzi scheme. And I'll give you just a brief little layout here. All right. A Ponzi scheme is a fraudulent scheme that involves paying existing investors in a non-existent enterprise with the funds collected from new investors. Now, I used to think that Social Security, when they took that out of my paycheck, they put that in some account and then it'd be waiting for me when I retired. Oh, no. That's not what they do. You see, they put a very, very small portion of that, of which they say it's going to run out by, I think it's like, what, 20, 2030 or something like that. I can't remember exa the exact date, but I think it's 2030. It's going to run out. Okay, but what do they do? That small portion they put into the treasury, but the majority of it, is going to pay the older investors or the baby boomers. And I'm not saying anything bad about baby boomers because they're the ones who funded the generation before them. But our society, our population has not kept up with the amount of baby boomers that there's been. And so the Ponzi is up. The Ponzi is up. And again, I talk more at length about this here, but long and the short of it was, I don't want you and I certainly sure as hell am not relying on social security because most likely by the time it gets to my turn, it's already gone. I've never counted with social security, by the way. I've, I've, I've always had it in my mind. I'm, 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 not, I'm not participating in it. Now, why financial freedom is second? Because I needed enough money to do the things that I wanted to do in my life comfortably so that I can move on into the final and most difficult freedom, okay? And that is time freedom. This, this freedom right here, this is the one that you can't buy. You can't buy more of it. You can't buy, you can't go and return it, okay? This is the most valuable commodity. It's not Bitcoin. It's not gold. It's not food even. All right. You come down here to Panama, there's gosh darn fruit tree on every corner. Trust me, there's an abundance of food, guys and gals. All right. In the world, there's an abundance of food. All right. But this freedom, it's finite. It's finite in this reality in this reality. Okay. So why is this freedom the most valuable to me? Well, because these are the things, this time freedom allows me to spend time with my family, to spend time with my friends playing sports. All right. Playing sports is a huge thing for me. I love playing sports, especially with my friends. We probably get, we got, I got a little upset at one of my friends yesterday because he's just learning, but I love playing with him. All right. I love playing with my, my friends. We have fun. We go exercise. We work on our longevity so that by the time we get older, we feel good. Why wouldn't you want to do that? This is part of time freedom. All right. This is all part of time freedom. Now, the problem is that these freedoms have been slowly stripped away by of the citizens of the world, of the developed world, I should say. All right. Of the developed world, these, these freedoms keep being stripped one by one away from us. And that's a big problem. And this has made retirement, my version of retirement, almost unattainable for most people. Now, 
part of the reason that I started my company, the arc was to help people achieve these freedoms. All right. And over the coming weeks, I'm not only going to show you, uh, that you don't need to rely on the government anymore, but I'm going to also show you how me and my students are thriving while barely are making ends meet. So how is it that I grew my wealth to the point that I achieved my three freedoms? Well, let me tell you, I didn't create it from selling a program on how to make money. I did it over time and investing in the right things. Okay. Time, time is your biggest friend when it comes to investing. If you think you're going to get rich overnight, which you can, and especially in this business, you can, but if you go in with that mentality, you're most certainly going to give it back to the gambling gods. I call them the gambling demons. I should say the gambling demons. All right. You're going to give them back to the gambling demons. But if you come in with a proper plan, like my students and myself have, you're going to put yourself on a path for success. Okay. But you have to write, have to have the right things to invest in. So what would it take for you to retire early, even though you're in debt right now? Okay. And take a look at some of these things. These are some painful things. Some of you may be like, man, I feel this, these articles, Americans need an extra $11,400 today, just to afford the basics. The old American dream died. Realtor details salary needed to buy a home, afford, afford a middle-class life in 2024. It's a lot. It's in the hundreds of thousands of dollars in America. Americans can't even afford rent. And so what's happened? Well, a lot of Americans, maybe even a lot of you have amassed a lot of debt. And while remember, I believe in accountability, here's the fucked up part. The system was designed against you. It's okay. It's just like, you know, Hey, I got into some bad relationships, but it was on me to learn and become better so that I didn't get up divorced again. So that I ended up with the right person who was going to love me, who I was going to love, who we were going to share in each other's happiness and successes. So how do we do that with our money, with our crypto? with whatever it is that you're investing in. Okay. How do we get out of debt? All right. We're in debt. You know, like when I woke up, check this out within 30 days. All right. My, my, uh, life sounded like a country song. Uh, so I ended up separating from my wife. She hired a very expensive, fancy Newport beach lawyer that cost 500 bucks an hour. I had to match it and I had to pay for all the fees. Okay. I ended up having to move back in with my parents as a 38 year old, my cat of 15 years, my cat, not my parents cat. I raised him since he was this big died. Um, I was bleeding money, bleeding it. I had lost $250,000 from a rent two restaurants that I was opening up. And then the, the straw that broke the camel's back, I got diagnosed with cancer within 30 days. That's why I say my, my, my life sounded like a country song. Okay. And that drove me into more debt and all these things, but the cancer was what really woke me up. It was really what woke me up. And while I woke up and I felt like a sigh of relief, almost I had a very mystical experience with no drugs involved. Okay. I had a very mystical experience where I was able to fall in love with life again. And my reality started to shift at that moment. But, but I still had to deal with all the things that were going on in my life. I still had to go through the divorce. I still had to go through the cancer. Okay. And sometimes reality 
or actually I should say reality, your life takes time to catch up with your new reality. And it did for me, it took several years, but I knew I was like, man, stressing about it or getting upset about it. It's not going to help me. It's not going to help those around me. So you may be in this situation where you're like, shit, I cannot afford rent. I'm here to tell you I was in your shoes before. I was in your shoes before. So this may be such a big and unachievable number. I'm here to tell you that it's not. I'm here to tell you that it's not. Okay. So let's say that you wanted a passive income of $275,000 per year and wanted to retire seven years from now, no matter what age you are. Okay. I'm here to give you some possibilities. So here's the sort of returns that you'd need to see. I just took this screenshot. Okay. This is what we call our managed vault. We actually are able to manage legally people's crypto without you losing custody of it. So you keep custody of it. We manage it. And at any point in time, you want to jam, boom, you're out. You want to take profit? Boom. You can take profit. You can do whatever you want. This is your money. I'm just managing it. Me and three of my other partners in this, but this investment has averaged 60% per year. It's like 60.01, but I wasn't going to, you know, be so detailed. All right. 60% per year on average right now, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And by the way, we started this at the worst time that you could have ever started in August, September of 2022, which a few months later, the FTX uh, crash happened, which for some of you that don't know what FTX is, was the largest, second largest crypto exchange and the largest crypto exchange to ever collapse ever. And it sent Bitcoin down to lows that I didn't even think could it could hit ever again. But the crypto market back then was built on sticks and stones. All right. It was built on sticks, I should say, because stones probably would have lasted a little bit better. But since then, people like my, me, the people in my company, we've been building. We've been building. And there was no government bailout for us. Let me repeat that. There was no fucking government bailout for us. There was no spoon in our mouth. There was no Harvard chaps to go ask for a loan. There was none of that. We had to figure it out. We had to survive in order to thrive. There was no bailout money. There was none of that. In fact, they even made it harder for us. The government started closing off all the entry gates into crypto. Guess what? We found other ones. We found better ones that the government couldn't fuck with. We got stronger. They got weaker. If you, if you like what I'm saying right now, hit that like button. And then also leave me something in the chat. Throw in a 444. 444 is a good number. 444, if, you're, if, you, if you feel what I'm saying here. If you feel what I'm saying here. Give me some 444s. Now let's talk about this. So 60%. Let's say I wanted I wanted to retire in 5 years. 5 years. Okay? And I wanted to live off $275,000. All right? $275,000. What would that take? Okay? Well, I'm at 43 right now. We're at 48, okay, at five years. If I started off with $100,000, okay, which I have more, and I started contributing just $3,000 per month, which again, please go back to my video from last week in order to see how you can do that, okay, in YouTube. And at a 60% return 
on average, you'd end up with $2.928 million. That's life-changing money. Now, let me tell you this, guys and gals. It's not always going to be like this, and it's an average, right? Because if you take my six-month average, right now I'm doing over 300% per year. Because why? The market just heated up. And I do believe that maybe over the next year to two years, we can do on average 300, 400%, especially what's going on. And we're going to talk about it. What's going on in the government right now? What's going on with the banks right now? Where they're shifting their focus to. But 2.9 million. Now, if I took that 2.9 million and I ended up putting that into my retirement calculator here, and I wanted to spend, spend $275,000 per year, which I couldn't like, I mean, I, I could give it away and I will a lot of it. Right. But honestly, for probably me to live the life that I really want to live. Okay. Like I'm not too far away from it. You want to know why my overhead's low right now. I spend six, seven grand a month. All right. Here in Panama where if I was anywhere else in the world, in, in the United States, I should say, or Europe, this same six, $7,000 that I spend per month, I would be spending minimum, minimum fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 in the United States. All right. But I'm just not interested in supporting a regime and I get all sorts of tax breaks for living outside the United States. I just don't want to support. And I don't care if it's Left wing, right wing, it's same bird. All right. It's the same bird. But if I were to do this at an annual rate of return at 15%, which I dial it down, I put it in some real estate or whatever, with an inf expected inflation rate at 5%, okay, you'd be able to fund your life for 36 years without doing another damn thing the rest of your life. Now, that's not true. A lot of you are probably going to be innovative. And finding the next, you know, thing that you want to do that interests you that is tied to the value or the energy output that you have. Or maybe some of you are like, man, I can make this 2.9 million and I could live off a hundred. In which case you would leave enough for your family. If you have a family for generations and generations, if you set it up right, but I'm just talking about you, you, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner, whatever it is, okay? Whatever it is, I'm talking about you guys and gals. Now, here's why I believe that this market is just heating up now. And remember, you need to take the average. You need to take the average. Let's go back a couple of slides here. Because look, we had some dark days here. I mean, these aren't too bad of losses by comparison. All right, we did a really good job at holding the line. <laughs> okay, but we've had some down months. One of our largest months was down 11.8%. So you got to average it out. I think our average is going to increase over the next two years because crypto is going to go up. I personally think that we're going to be doing over 250% per year. Past performance is not a guarantee of future gains, though. To full disclaimer, I don't control the markets. Who knows? Maybe the world ends up in uh, whatever. I don't want to. I don't even want to put it out there. I don't want to say what a lot of people are saying. Again, it comes back down to all of my hard work that I've done in terms of research and things like this. Micro strategy trumps. BlackRock with 12,000 more Bitcoin that they bought at $72,000. They bought $12,000. That's just BlackRock. MicroStrategy has been buying 12 times the amount, about 1,200 Bitcoin per day. We're running out of Bitcoin. And when we run out of Bitcoin, there's another place that they're going to go to. Some people are saying that Bitcoin by the end of 2025 could be worth a million dollars per Bitcoin. 
And I'm going to show you what that, what that ends up being there. And by the way, guys, gals, just real quick, a little quick commercial. All right. If you're interested in learning the things that we teach our students about mindset, about crypto, about how you can become your own bank, not just holding your crypto on Coinbase, Ruben, my DJ, he put here a link. Okay. Ruben, throw up the, the website there too. You can go to the website. You can use this code for 50% off and we'll get into what this all covers here. But if you want to get in, we only have a thousand people that we're allowing at this price. All right. And we're almost there. So here's where it gets crazy. BlackRock brings Ethereum ETF and enthusiasts on board to focus on crypto offerings. All right. And then uh, ETH price shoes past 37. It's now up four to $4,000 despite SEC refusing BlackRock ETH ETF approval. Now, there's a final decision date coming up in May of this year. I forget what day it is exactly. Just so you know, okay, BlackRock is the king of ETFs, all right? The king of ETFs. By the way, Howard, Howard asks, how much do I need to get in the managed vault? 10 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it is. You can dollar cost average in, all right? You don't need that much. I would put in more, but that's not financial advice, all right? I would put in 1,000, you know, but again, that's me, all right? So here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay. BlackRock has only had one ETF rejected in 576. Let me repeat that. BlackRock has only had one ETF rejected in 576. When these guys run out of Bitcoin, they're coming for Ethereum. When they can't buy any more Bitcoin, they're coming for Ethereum. Because Ethereum right now is the most widely used and widely developed blockchain in the world. They're not stopping at Bitcoin. Are you crazy? They are hooked. They are hooked on crypto right now, guys and gals. They are hooked on crypto. And the CEO of BlackRock, which by the way, for those of you who don't know who BlackRock is, they're the largest institution by assets under management. If you were to put them like in terms of the size of countries by GDP, it would be America, China, BlackRock. Now, if you were to throw in Charles Schwab and uh, Fidelity and all these other ones that actually got a Bitcoin ETF. And oh, by the way, they've all filed for Ethereum ETFs as well. You would have the largest country in the world by a lot. And all of this money is coming. And this is why I'm telling you all, you need to understand how to play this game now. You need to understand how to play this game now, not tomorrow. It was cute when I was saying it last year and in 2022, it was cute. But now, because these guys are bringing everything to the blockchain stocks bonds commodities all of it is coming over and i'm going to show you all how we're taking advantage of this and how you'll never have to worry about money and money is relative maybe it's maybe you don't have a hundred thousand dollars to put up right now maybe you only have a thousand dollars but let's say if you could build your thing up to where you were making $7,000 a month, you'd be in a much better position. You could live again, like a king or a queen down here in Panama or in Colombia or in Uruguay or in parts of Asia with less than $5,000, with less than $5,000. And look at what, look at what's happened. Look at what, what's happened. All right. Ever since the banks started collapsing last year, which they're collapsing. And BlackRock, which was right about here, okay, started announcing that they had a Bitcoin ETF in the running. This is Bitcoin. This is Ethereum. They're up 
243% Ethereum is, and Bitcoin is 327%. And we're way ahead of schedule, guys and gals. We're way ahead of schedule. But you know what this means? It's totally possible to grow your crypto stack to earn a passive income of over $275,000 per year inside of five years or less. It's totally possible. It's totally possible. Now, let me tell you about where I started and so that you can understand, so that you know that it is possible, that it's not possible, impossible to get here, all right? So back in 2020, remember I got cancer in 2018, woke up in 2018, all right? It was August, late August of 2018. And I went through all these things. I had an amazing teacher who taught me how to meditate, who taught me how to love myself, who taught me how to get out of my cycles, but it took time for all the things to catch up. I had to get healthy first, healthy here, okay? I had to get healthy here, okay? And then I had to get healthy here, okay? But if you're not healthy here and you're not healthy here, you're not gonna be healthy here because you'll give all of this up to be healthy here and healthy here, okay? So you got to be clear. So I got clear, real damn clear. But in the in that clarity, I didn't give a shit about my credit. I didn't give a shit about the money I was making. I was not concerned with that at all. What I wanted, you know, they the the old saying, my my good buddy Nick, my big brother, he says, you know, and he's quoting somebody else, but it's a quote that he always uses, okay? A healthy person wants a thousand things, but an unhealthy person or a sick person only wants one. So I got healthy, my body and my mind. And it's if you think that this and this does not coincide, you're sorely mistaken. Go back and read some books, Joe Dispenza stuff, Louise Hay stuff. That's what I read. And I studied it. I didn't read it. I studied it. Okay. But I had only fit, I got down to $15,000. I went from a multimillionaire, okay, to where I had only $15,000 in crypto because it was the only thing that the lawyers couldn't take from me because why it was in my own bank. It was in my, my hard wallet. I don't have one here. And then I had $300,000 in debt. And that was at the beginning of 2020. And that's my wife now. We met in Russia, all right, when I went to go... Uh, treat with this Russian shaman doctor. But within two years of studying the crypto markets, all right, and learning different investment techniques, I was able to turn that 15,000 into a couple million bucks. A couple million bucks inside of two years. It was actually less than two years. It was like a year and seven months, but who's counting? All right, I'm rounding up. I'm rounding up. Oh, there we go. Confucius said it. Nick's on right now. Confucius said that. All right. So why do I think now is the time to be getting into the crypto markets? Well, let's take a look at this. If somebody were to go, yo, bro, sis, whatever. And by the way, if you guys are liking this content, hit that like button. It's going to bring more people. If you're not on YouTube, go to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, then hit the like button, then put on all of the alerts so that you get alerted when I go live because I go live twice a week. Okay, so let's get back to our regularly scheduled program here. Let's say you had some friend and they're like, yo, bro, Donald Trump, because he seems to love the dollar, all right? Trust me, he's not that much smarter than you and I, okay? Actually, he's kind of dumb because of what he said about the dollar. He's like, I'm a dollar type of guy. I'm a dollar type of guy. Okay, Donald Trump, let's, let's talk. I, I need to interview this guy. All right. I need to interview this guy because I want to show him this chart and go, Donald Trump, would you invest in this? Like, let's take away the little dollar image and all this stuff. Would you invest in this asset? Asset. And he would probably tell you, heavens no. 
Heavens no. Okay. Why? Because it's going down in value every single day, second, week, right? It's going down in value. This thing is not going to, it's, if, if history is a good predicament of this, this thing is not going up in value anytime soon. And compared to Bitcoin, this is like a straight cliff down. If you just take the last 10 years or crypto for that matter, not just Bitcoin. Now let's take a look at this. Okay. United States dollar back in 1998. Yeah. Everybody was living good. 20 bucks. This is what you got. You know, it's just 18. Then like 2005, I'm, I'm 25 years old, still living. All right. You know, life is good. I'm making a hundred grand. Woo. All right. This is cool. This is fun. Easy breezy, right? 2014 comes and you're like, oh man, even when I go to Trader Joe's, this seems like a bottomless pit. I, you know, before I used to get some nice stuff, used to get crunk, crunk up in the club back, you know, back in, even in 2005, I was getting crunk. For those of you that <laughs> I lived through that, that time, you know what I'm talking about. And then like 2014, oh man, I got to move back in with my parents. And then 2021 comes around and man, you can't even buy a loaf of bread for 20 bucks nowadays. Y'all know, y'all know what's up, but let's look at Bitcoin 2012. You, you know, you could buy the same stuff in 2014, 2013. All right. We got a basket full of stuff here. You know, we got a basket full of stuff. 2014. You're getting crunk again, right? <laughs> You're getting crunk. 2021, you know, when Bitcoin hit 67 and now it's hit 70, well, almost what? $75,000. You're buying a, the, the Tesla truck. Now you'd be dumb and foolish to buy a, a depreciating asset, but I can show you the infinite crypto the infinite crypto bank system where you literally don't even need to pay taxes legally, legally, no different than like what Robert Kiyosaki is doing and all these investors, Ray Dalio, no different than all of them on the growth of your crypto. And when you take profit, I can show you this. I'm not going to show it to you today, but I'm going to show it to you in probably week five we're on week two i'm going to show you in week five so three thursdays from now take a look at this this is from van Eck, one of the largest shoot hold on hold on because i can't oh man hold on let me stop presenting because i got to present this in a different mode because you you want you're going to want to hear this all right you're going to want to hear this look at this here uh, share audio, share tab. Ah, uh, no, we need to share the tab. All right, here we go. Share audio. All right, listen to this. Ready? This is Van Neck, one of the largest institutions in the world. Listen, listen. The world holds on to old ways until it can. When Bitcoin was born, it broke that endless cycle. It's not a defiance of finance. Bitcoin may help guard against the government devaluing your money. Bitcoin may guard against the government devaluing your money. If that resonates with you, put like a fire emoji in there. And if you haven't already hit that like button, Vanek, one of the largest institutions in the world. This commercial came out three days after the their e, uh, Bitcoin ETF launched. All right. These huge, mon these huge, huge institutions are now catching on to this. Now, the government will try to come up with their own cryptocurrency, but... They can't run from this chart. They can't run from this chart. All right. And that is now super, super concerning for them. Why? Why is this concerning for them? 
Because even right now, Biden is trying to pass a $7.8 trillion budget. Guys, do you know how much we brought in for taxes? Okay, it's something like $6 trillion or something like that. That means it's like $1.8 trillion over. And why? Because they're going to keep printing. And what do you think it's going to do to this chart? It's going to keep going down and down and down until something breaks. Until something breaks. All right? Don't think that this is going to go on forever. It's not. And the can is going to hit a brick wall here soon. Now, you might be thinking, okay, so... How exactly did you go from $15,000 in crypto to in $300,000 in debt to a multimillionaire? Okay. Well, part of my success came from location freedom. The other part of my success was by me structuring my debt and focusing on acquiring as many assets that would grow as possible, as quickly as possible. Now start paying attention. I have two more juicy segments here, two more juicy segments. You want to pull out your pen and paper because you're going to want to write this down if you're in debt. Okay. And if you screenshot it and then write it down later, that's cool too. Here's what I did. I put some of my debt on hold. You heard that right. I literally called my creditors and told them they, this is what I said. This is what I said. You need to fucking wait. You need to wait. But your credit, I think I care about my credit. You think I care about my credit? This thing that you guys invent invented to enslave me. Remember what I told you, you know, all those bad relationships and all that stuff. Well, guess what? I took the rain from them and I started riding the horse. And I was like, yeah, I, they called me block, call me from another number block. Didn't, wouldn't even answer it. All right. That's what I did. And I started putting it towards my investments, but then I took my smallest debts and I started paying those off first. So I told all the other ones, I was like, yo, you guys can wait. You can wait. So what, what are you going to do? You're going to put me in jail. You're going to put me in jail. You can't put me in jail. So your biggest fear out the window. All right. They're not going to put you in jail for not paying your JP Morgan chase card. Trust me. All right. But I took my smallest one. If I had one for like $600, I paid that off first. And let's say I was paying 300 bucks a month towards that, that I decided because I was going to put more into my investments because remember how I told you earlier, how if this and this isn't healthy, then this isn't going to be fucking healthy. You remember how I told you that earlier? Well, guess what? I started going, okay, this is healthy. This is healthy. But I need to be financially healthy for all y'all to be healthy. So I started saying, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to put 300. That's what I'm going to put towards that 300 bucks. And a lot of them, I negotiated down. I negotiated them down myself personally. Now, the reason I did this is because I wanted to see me winning. If you want to see you winning type winning in the chat. I wanted to see me win. Okay. And by seeing me winning, I was able to pay off my accounts little by little. And during the same time, I was selling off everything that I could sell businesses, bikes, couches, TVs. And then what did I do? I went into monk mode. I wasn't worried about dating me and my, my, she was my girlfriend now wife at the time we remained friends. We loved each other. We developed a friendship, which was beautiful. We weren't out, you know, it was in this hot flashy sex, you know, 
you, if, if, if you're in that mode, don't be, I went monk mode. I developed, I got to know her better as a human. We developed a tremendous respect for ourselves, but I also locked myself in, in the city of Denver. I, I went out, I would go walk every day. And this was during the lockdowns, but I would walk, I would work. I would work out. It felt good. It was fun. All right. And I went into monk mode though. Dave Ramsey says one thing. I don't agree with all the things he talks about, especially when it comes to crypto. He's lost millions of people money in that aspect. But he did say one thing. You want to live like people won't for five years so that you can live how other people can't for the rest of your life. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. All right. So I also took advantage of my location freedom because I started moving to places that were cheaper where I was able to invest even more money because my overhead was low. And again, I talked about that last week. So watch that video. Now, why did this help me pump my portfolio? It's simple. My overhead was significantly lower. I didn't have all this credit card debt, huge Overhead from Uncle Sam, huge overhead from this, renter, all this stuff by living in other countries. And I was able to restructure my debt and hold creditors off until I was financially healthy. Because if I'm not healthy, all y'all motherfuckers are not going to be healthy. Mark my words. You all are not going to be healthy. And by the way, hit that like button if you like if you like what you're hearing here, hit that like button in YouTube. If you're not following me, head over to YouTube. All right. Now, remember one thing. Without you and I, without us, these huge creditors, companies, governments, they ain't shit. They ain't nothing. They all work for us. We're their customers. So yeah, okay, you created, you designed the system to enslave us. We'll break out. There's a way to do it. You designed the system to enslave us with your taxes. We'll figure out a way. We'll go to where we're treated best. That may be another country, another state, whatever. We'll figure it out. And guess what? We no longer participate in your system. Yeah, thanks. That's done. And it's being shown because a lot of people are getting out of dollars and getting into Bitcoin and getting into Ethereum and getting into something that makes more financial sense. By the way, if you're, if you're not financially ha healthy, all right, then why should they be? All right. The system has cancer. I had cancer. It's time to cut the cancer out. It's time to cut the cancer out so that we can be healthy again. Now, now that we know what we can actually, where we can actually put our debt and hold and start stacking some money for our investment, here's what you can do. It's no different than any of the way that these entities do here. And I'm getting to the juicy part, so stick with me here. So here's an example of how I made money, okay? But you need to understand what liquidity is first what liquidity is first. Okay. And by the way, if this is resonating with you, head over to that link. We're giving 50% off to the first thousand people. It's been a couple months. We're up to like 600 people or 700 people. I last count, I lost count, but we're getting close to the thousand sign up. We're, we're heating up over here. The market's not just heating up our business heating up. All right. So how do we teach liquidity? What is liquidity? Well, let's say I want to buy Apple stock. Where do I need to go? I need to go to the NASDAQ, which is called a centralized exchange. Well, every single time I buy Apple stock with cash or cash with Apple stock, a fee is levied against you. All right. For providing liquidity. And every single time a fee is taken on average, it's going for about 10 to $150 plus. The only rub is the NASDAQ keeps all of the fees generated. 
The NASDAQ keeps all of the fees generated. And when I found this out, this is what I felt like a clown. I had a really scary dream about a clown the other day. I need to change this because it's getting into my subconscious. Now, this is what I've personally done by providing liquidity in crypto. This was done within like 30 or 45 days. I'm going to, I'm going to breeze through this because I'm going to get to the real juicy part. All right. So here you can see what my entry was $13,000, my profit. So on top of the $13,000, 16,000, almost $17,000 right here. Look at this big one. Ave for letting people borrow my crypto to trade and provide liquidity. I came in with $10,000. I walked away with an additional $30,000. This is how you get critch, not crunk. We want to substitute getting crunk for getting critch. All right. And it's spelled C R Y T C H. All right. We're done getting crunk. We're getting critch. All right. No more crunk in the club. We're getting critch in the club. All right. Look at this. 62,000. I walked away with 36,000. 4,000 profited on top of my 4,000, almost 7,000 bucks here by providing liquidity. It's no different than the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, Coinbase, Robinhood. All of these exchanges we're doing exactly what I was doing, which is charging a fee for every trade you make for providing liquidity, but they ain't calling you up to give you the money. So it, it also doesn't matter if the market's going up or down. I'm making fees because people are buying crypto nonstop. Even when FTX and Celsius and all these crashes were occurring, people were buying crypto and I was making money. People were buying crypto. Now these banks are making billions of dollars per year. What if you could own your own bank? Well, that's exactly what I did. All right. I was building my own assets instead of the banks and I was becoming my own bank and it was super easy. I didn't need like a lawyer, like I was before in the past, you know, setting up an LLC, none of that. Didn't need any of that. No paperwork. I didn't need to go to the government and Hey, is this so stand in the DMV line? And get out of here with that. It was easy. Just needed a plug in my wallet and off. All right. Now I learned, I learned a lot during then. It, it's much easier than setting up a real bank. Let's just say that. And in less than 90 days, my money was earning me $50,000 a month while I got to go out and actually enjoy my life. Now I want you to develop your skills as a cryptocurrency investor not as a trader, not as a trader. Okay. Cause we're in, in, entering into a decentralized finance era where we buy actively make interest, borrow and lend. We get to lend our money and I'm, I have something juicy coming up here. All right. For you. So stay, stick with me because I'm going to show you how all this makes sense for maximum profits and safety. So check out, this is another liquidity pool that I did for Ethan Solana. Where are you going to get paid 165% to provide liquidity or stake your tokens? It's not in Coinbase. They're paying you like 5%. Yeah, no thanks, Coinbase. It's just a new type of bank. That's all they are, a new type of bank over at Coinbase. All right. Here's some other screenshots of some of my students making 55.85%. Where are you going to make 55.85% even putting your dollars in the bank. Nowhere, not in Coinbase, not in crypto.com, not in Binance. Here's another one, 39.95%, 162% that we were earning in fees more. And I'm going to break this down to you. This is it's going to start getting juicy. This is a screenshot from one of my students. They doubled their money just in fees. Just in fees, they doubled their money. So that means if it goes up by another 100%, they made 200% instead of just 100%. And I'm going to break this down to you in dollars and cents. So what is the technology that we're using to make all of this money? It's the same technology that me and my students have used. Now, remember, we're not doing anything different than the NASDAQ, the New York Stock Exchange, the S&P 500, Coinbase, Binance, etc. This technology is called decentralized finance or DeFi. Decentralized finance removes... Okay. Removes 
the banks and the institutions between you and financial freedom. So here's how it works. All right. Here's how it works. So you have the sender. Okay. Just call it the sender deposits her money into the bank. All of these guys take a cut or actually even worse, invest your money, free money. Imagine if somebody was like, here's an unlimited amount of free money. You don't even need to go risky because you're just going to put everybody's money into a bond that's going to pay you 5% and you didn't need to put any of your money in. Or you're going to put your money in and you're going to charge somebody 30% on a credit card or 5% on a home loan or 5% on a, on a auto loan. That would be a pretty darn good business, right? Well, that's what these banks do. And you end up, this receiver ends up what? Well, it takes the sender's money or the, or the lender's money and he's using her money or even worse, she's using her money because she deposited her money and they're like, oh, here's a credit card. Oh, here's a home loan. And they're using part of her money to give it back to her. Or same thing, you want to reverse in, using part of his money to give it back to him and they're charging him an interest rate. This is how you have your cheese stolen. This is how you have your energy stolen. Money is just energy. Me being here is energy. I am literally, you guys can feel it, putting energy things. Some of you may sign up with my course. That's a result of the output of my energy. You may be whatever, a, a, a lawyer or a doctor or a secretary or a, a, a waiter. Well, all that hard work that you're doing, that's energy and it's shown in the form of money. They take your money, they lend it out to other people and they charge you to use it. Your money, your energy. So here's how we combat this. All right. Again, let's get back to a liquidity pool. All right. This is what we call a liquidity pool. So you have traders who come here. All right. Traders who come here and let's say they want to buy or sell REN to ETH or ETH to REN. Well, these liquidity providers down here, they're going to pool their money together. All of us, the people, us. Remember how I showed you that one picture of all of us in front of like, you know, the capital, all of us, because they can't survive without us. Well, guess what? Us, we built a better mousetrap. That doesn't suit them. It suits you, you, and me. So now we're able to pool our money together without being in the good old boys club. And every single time, every single time somebody trades a crypto or a commodity or real estate, because you got tradable real estate on the blockchain right now, guess who gets the fee? It's not Wall Street. It's not BlackRock. It's you and it's me. It's you and it's me. Now, here's some examples of some liquidity pools that I put up. This one was ETH and SNX. So every single time somebody traded between these two, a 0.3% fee was charged and all the people that deposited the money into that pool share the fees based on how much you put in. So through, and you can put in 10 bucks, you can put in a hundred dollars, you can put in a thousand dollars, you can put in $20 million. Okay. Put in as much or as little as you want. Now you have to understand how the game is played and we teach that. Okay. But look at this 321% that I was earning doing this or this one for fracks, 149%. Okay. By us doing this, by me doing this. Now I'm going to show you some juicy stuff here. So when you get into DeFi, you become the bank and your gains explode when the market goes up. Now, let me give you an example. And again, here's where it really gets juicy. All right. And this is the stuff that we teach. Now, SNX is a crypto that I personally got into. And guys, gals, I mean, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the honest to God truth. And it hasn't happened all the time. All right. But seldomly it does. I bought this crypto right down here in June of 2020. 
okay, at around uh, 91, I was just 85 cents, but I put, just because it was so small, all right, I couldn't do it. So it was not, I put it as 91 cents. So I actually made more profit. I literally sold this top. I literally sold this top. Now look at this. 26, this went up by 2,600%. Most people in their 401ks will in 40 years will never even make 2,600%. And I made it in less than a year. In a year and, no, sorry. In seven months or eight months, I made 2,600%. All right. Look at this one, Frax. This one, I got early in on this one, early, early in, and I got in at 23 cents. This went up, and I'm still holding some of this, but I've cashed out hundreds of thousands of dollars on this one, and I'm gonna show you how. But this went up 16,551%. Man, some people don't even make 551% their entire life. I made 16,551%. Now let's see how this, let's see, stick with me here. Stick with me. Don't leave because you're going to miss the best part. Now let's say SNX, okay, grows by 2,600% and you invest $1,000. That turns into $26,300. Not bad. Not bad. All right, we're headed in the right direction, but it's still we're still not there. We're still not there, so stick with me. Imagine you invested a thousand bucks into FXS and you had a one thousand or sixteen thousand five hundred fifty percent return. That turned into six one hundred sixty five thousand five hundred ten dollars. Not bad, not bad, but stick with me. Now we have all this, but now let's times that by three hundred and twenty one percent. And this one for FXS, let's times that by 149%. Why? Because we earned more in those tokens and fees. We earned more. So if we invested like one SNX, now I have three, uh, 321 more. Okay. At 321%. Okay. So check this out. Check this out. If you were to times that by 321%, okay, instead of making 26,300, I'm actually making 110,723 off a $1,000 investment. Look at this one though. And by the way, I only invested 2,800 into this one. Otherwise it would have been much, much more. All right. But I was making these level of gains where I, if you times that by 149%, instead of 165,000, this turns into $412,119. Type the fire button, hit the like button in YouTube if you like what I'm talking about here. Now, Ruben, throw up, throw up that website because here's where, here's where the rubber meets the road for you. So you should have a clear cut roadmap all right, on how to start your retirement early and build generational wealth. We added, we have two things now that y'all have learned. So let's go over some of our biggest wins from last year. So you know, like, oh, I'm just not throwing these things out. These are actual confirmed wins. Look at this. One of our coaches, Coach Casey, 139% on FET, 215% on AGX, Ori, 125%. And that didn't include liquidity pools. This was just us showing people what we were buying and they got in. All right. And there was a whole bunch of airdrops. So if you're like, man, I don't even, I don't even have two nickels to rub together right now. We had plenty of students who got into this ARB airdrop. Okay. ARB airdrop that uh, gave them between 2000 and $10,000. And that's just one airdrop that we did for free. Hundreds of our students got into this. Hundreds. All right. Look at this. April, 580%. Okay. Up on this call from Coach Igor on Injective. Now this is even more. All right. Now this is even more. This is probably getting up to like uh, close to a thousand percent since we called it. And I'm still holding on to this one. 
All right. I'm still holding on. Look at this. One student turned three, 3,000 into 14,000. All right. Look at this. Rio, 355%. Maker, 204%. GFI, 300%. All right. This is my portfolio. I showed how, how people could leverage trade. One of my students, he sent me a screenshot yesterday. He's up like a thousand percent on a couple of his leverage trades. He's actually outperforming me. <laughs> He's outperforming me. I was like, damn, this guy's paying attention. All right. But look at this. Look at these returns. 235%, 318% on my Bitcoin and Bitcoin since I started this investment is only up like 125%. I'm up three times that amount with the skills that I'm teaching my students. 912% for Solana, 308% for, uh, for uh, staked ETH, 72% for Frax, okay? These are all things where you could really, really, really pump your portfolio. And I share this portfolio. I have, it's called my 5K to 1 million in two years. All right, 5K to 1 million, I'm teaching this. These are two calls that I made. One did 900%, okay, in November, and the other did 1,000%. And we weren't even providing liquidity in these. All right, we weren't even providing liquidity in these. So stick with me here, because I'm going to show you how you can take part in this. Now you know what it takes to retire in seven years or five years or less using DeFi and our proven blueprint to potentially earn 275,000 because our number has gone up in terms of our, our returns in our managed vault, okay, per year. So there you have it. This is how I started making passive income massively, all right? Because this is all you need, all right? It's super easy. You set yourself up and then you're managing this one to two per hours per day. But the setup part does take time, all right? And before you get started on your own, Please remember there are, there's one major hurdle. All right. And that is cryptocurrency is highly volatile, ever changing landscape of opportunity. And it can be too much for one person to keep up with on the daily. And if you let me guide you on your journey to financial location and stress freedom, all right, I will get you there faster than it took myself because I've done every dumb thing that you can think of pushed every button lost money every single way that you can think of it's wild guys it's wild now the problems you'll face you'll try to learn how to do this alone and although it's simple to learn if you have the right mentor okay it isn't easy trial and error could cost you years and thousands of wasted dollars and even if you're able to become your own bank, likely you won't know which areas are the safest and give you the highest returns. And you'll spend dozens of hours doing research online, looking at forums and talking to strangers only to possibly put your money in the wrong place and lose it. All right. And even if you do get it right, the market is always changing. And what's a good idea today may not be a good idea in months. And without a community coaching, you have no feedback loop. All right. How do you get like, how do you know what's working? How do you ask questions? That's the most valuable part of our community is the community or the, the, our program. It's the community. It's the community. So your two options are do it yourself or follow a proven roadmap like I've designed and my, my uh, coaches have designed. So if you're smart and want to go with option two, let's talk about how you can get it set up right now. All right. So this is called our galaxy self-guided subscription. Again, down below here, you have that link. Ruben, throw the link in the, in the chat as well. So people can actually click to it. So people can click to it. All right. So what does this subscription include? It includes access to a self-guided comprehensive course design for those who know nothing or have a basic understanding of crypto and DeFi. And it dives deeper into how to actively participate and potentially profit in the DeFi space. It also allows you access to live weekly classes. So we have ARC orientation, where we teach you where to start. Where are you going to start in all of this? Where do I go? How do I start using your app? And by the way, we have an app. We have an app on iPhone 
and on Google, and then you have the desktop version as well. Then you have Tech Tuesday where Coach Igor, he shows you all the new alpha, all the tricks he's using in order to maximize his games. You have Thrive Thursday, which my big brother, Nick, who I was talking about earlier, talks about mindset because mindset, again, is the most important part of finances, in my opinion. And then Saturday School, where all the coaches come on and they share with you what their portfolio looks like and what they're investing in so that you are not left in the dark. Again, it's not financial advice, but it's a pretty good guide. It gives you some good ideas to where you can go and we teach you how to do your own research so that you can go and make your own decisions. All right. Now, how much would all this be worth to you? So access to learning with the ARC was between $5,000 and $15,000, but we've listened to many of you. And we want all of you to join us learning about this. And we've worked on making our learning way more accessible. And while you can be anywhere else in the world, you're here with me right now. All right. You're here with me right now. So we're giving you a coupon to access Galaxy through our unique launch code. It's right here. It's ARCYT50. 50% 50 off. We're giving you 50% off. The original price was 194 it's now uh, 97. This is now, guys and gals, now up to the next thousand people. That's it. This price is going away. Bye bye. And this is because we're at the beginning of the biggest crypto boom we will ever see. And now is the time to start. We're never going to see a boom like this, guys and gals. And whether or not it lasts two years or 10 years, I don't know. That I don't know. Nobody knows. But I'll tell you this, prior booms and this boom, we will never, ever, ever see another boom like this in our lifetimes. In our lifetimes, we'll never see a boom like this. Here's the coupon code again, ARCYT50. The link is in the description. All right, right down here, arccrypto.io forward slash galaxy. You can sign up today and start changing your life. Now, let me tell you who this is not for, all right? This is not for people who are completely broke. Broke is up here. Remember, sick in the mind, you're broke. You're broke up here, you're broke here. People who think everything is a scam and the world is out to get them, and there's a lot of scams out there. Ours is not one of them. Ours is not one of them. You got to have a paradigm shift there. People who are stuck in analysis by paralysis mode, they just kind of want to kick tires, all right, and just want to get more information rather than take action, or people who are not serious about creating a six-figure passive income. Now, who is this for? Who is this perfect for? People who want to get out of their nine to five. People who want that retirement that I was talking about earlier so that they can start doing the things that they really want. People who have heard about cryptocurrency, but they're afraid to jump in because they heard about the FTXs and the Celsiuses and all this stuff. People who have already invested in cryptocurrency, but want a safer and even more lucrative way to make that crypto. Again, here's the code right here. Warning. Warning. If you want an extraordinary life, you have to put in extraordinary work. This is not a quick get rich quick scheme, guys and gals. All right. This is a get rich medium scheme. All right. Get rich medium scheme. The formula is simple. Valuable skills plus lots of work up front plus focus equals massive amounts of money. This is not free. All right. We're teaching you guys some valuable skills, even though I'm telling you for how much you pay on a monthly subscription. The, the amount of money that you could potentially make far outweighs that far outweighs that. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested again. Here's what you need to do next. Head over to that link, use this code, get signed up and let's get working. Look, I put this here. All right. I put this here to show you when I showed you this earlier, it was at 188. This screenshot was taken last week. It's now at 175. This is our managed option for those of you that are interested in a managed option. 
All right. We're crushing it. And we, we're adding more and more depositors. We're up to 302 already. And we just in one week. All right. Just in one week, we've almost added 20 new depositors. All right. So we're going to do, all right. What we're going to do is I'm going to be sharing my top investment this year on Saturday. If you sign up, you're not going to want to miss out on this. All right. You're not going to want to miss out on this. So head over there. I'm going to close with action takers are money makers. Guys, gals, if I have not made enough of a case for you on this, I don't know what will. But we got to change, guys. Definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. If you're expecting to work your way out of this, it's not going to happen. They design the system against you. They design the system against you. Whew. That's all I got. I can, hey, somebody asked if we can help in South Africa. We can, we got students all over the world be unique. We got students all over the world be unique. All right. We got, oh, look at Botanical Brothers putting the numerology on there. Let's see, I'm paying attention so that I can get paid. Jaw, my crypto cowboy. I love the crypto cowboy. By the way, Jaw is 79 years young. And he started with us almost two years ago. And he shows up to every freaking class. He shows up to every freaking class, guys. You're talking some big figures, investments. What are the minimum investments for people that's not playing in that field? Yeah. Roads, roads, it's as little as you want, a hundred bucks. Just get your feet wet, get your feet wet. Start, start a little bit. You know what I mean? The exchange rate, it's really bad. Yeah, the exchange rate is really bad, unfortunately. But you got to start now, be unique. Shout out to Coach Casey. Yes, Coach Casey always says, that's one of our coaches here, by the way. What's the difference with Galaxy and Infinity? Infinity, you get access to our live uh, five-week courses. Okay, live five-week courses. Uh, you don't pay the 97 bucks per month going forward. And then I also have an extra course that's just with me where I run exercises with you guys and share my, my – big portfolio. Right now I'm sharing only my 5k to 1 million for portfolio, but I do share my portfolio for, uh, my big main portfolio where a lot of my older stuff is newer stuff and what, and I also help students break down their own portfolios. I just spent an hour doing that this week with some of our students. So yeah, that's what we do. So it is, it is more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. But if you just want to start out, oh, and by the way, it's 97 bucks. We have a 15 day money back guarantee. If you don't like it, just give us a call back and just be like, hey, this isn't for me. I'm not connecting with this. Or let's say you're like, you, it connects with you, but you know, after a few months, you're just like, ah, you know what? Okay, I've learned enough. You cancel, cancel anytime. There's no contract, it's all BS. I want to hold you here against your will. No, you signed a contract saying you'd be here for a year. No, just if you don't, if you're done, if you learned, cool. I did my job. Hopefully you go out and you teach somebody else because it's all about mass adoption. Get your education and turn your cents into dollars and cents. I love it, Ja. I love it. <laughs> all right, everybody, guys, gals, I've been like back to back stuff. Like I said, I was just on CBS. I think it was. I was just on CBS talking about AI and crypto and the economy. And then I went, literally, I had a two minute break. I ran to the bathroom and then ran back and I got on with y'all. So I'm going to take a break. I haven't eaten breakfast. I'm fasted right now and pumped. I love you all. If you want to join me on Monday, just covering some of the things that's going on in crypto, then I share some alpha, al the alpha, and if not, I'll see you here, part three, next week. Love you all. Thank you for giving me the time. Hopefully, I shifted your mind just a little bit to get out of this 
bullshit rat race system that the governments and the big businesses have created. Because guess what? Once we all stand together, we're going to rock and roll, baby. And it's happening right under our noses. All right, everyone. Cheers.